Bitte mal mit dem Mikrofon raus. Mikrofon Video, I think yes, I'll make a full video. So enough about that, the transformation topic. The rest I go, she is her. She rejected me as I'm gonna lose this weight and I'm gonna pick up the chase and let her loss out too. Unless I really see signs that she likes me, then I'll, I'll give her a chance. I might ask what she wants to hang out with her. She says no second night. I'm officially done with her. She's too bad. And I'm done with her, obviously. So, Sarah. Yeah. But once I make my money off my book, <clears throat> I release my own purchase on the whole. I experience that crazy worldwide buzz. And a month goes by and I get that first royalty check. You know what I'm saying? I say my father 30 goodbyes. You know what I'm saying? And what? And everyone knows Ivan's waiting that first check. That's why everyone's like, once I come out from death and I'm waiting that check, obviously, a lot of people are going to be hating on me and giving me that dirty stare because don't hate me, guys. Because a lot of these guys don't hate me. They work really hard for 50, 60, 70, even 100K a year. And I didn't make it as easy as it is. So, Sarah. Will you check out Coco Fruity? If I don't date Emmanuel, I will check out Coco Fruity and I'll say hi. I'll probably go on a weekday. She might, chances are she might have be working that day, right? Because I'm, I'm going to go on a weekday. She, 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 I, I see the people, I say hi. And the Coco Fruity manager will probably be like shit because he knows I'm going to get that check. You know what I'm saying? He knows, he knows, he, he knows he, I'm going to get that fat check. Yeah. Fuck, man. Ivan's going to, Ivan beat the gatekeeper. He has the key. He's going to make his money off his book. He's like $9.5 billion off his book. We all work our asses off. We go to college to make 50, 60 gay a year. Yeah. That's why everyone hates him with the keys, obviously. They're jealous. Like, Coco Food Manager probably makes 60000 a year owning the restaurant. 70000 80000 a year owning the restaurant. Maybe a hundred. Yeah, I don't know. My point is, he's not me. Even if he makes 100k, he's not me. He can't make his easy billions like me. So I can make my easy billions. Because I'm the son of God, I have the keys on hate. He's, he's going to feel like shit. Fuck, man. Ivan's away in that check. Yeah. You know what I'm I go to Elmer Bar. I go to uh, St. Hubert's. People are going to feel like shit. Because Ivan's away in that check. He's working on the game. Obviously. And 30 days go by, I get that, I get this, uh, message notification on PayPal. Ivan, you have a notification on PayPal. Money has been sent to your PayPal account, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? And I click on it, and I sign into my PayPal account, and it says you have $9.5 billion in your, you have $9 billion in your PayPal account, Ivan. I'm like, holy shit. Nine billion dollars in my PayPal account. Yeah, I'm fucking rich. Cause I, I, the whole world bought my book. Yeah. Since there, the whole world bought my book. <laughs> Obviously, I'm loaded now. Fuck Ivan's evil, man. He's just gonna take that money and live that book out of his life more left. I like, yeah, you already deserve man. You touched my wife, my poor will don't touch my precious wife. And you did this evil to me, made me pay, and you're gonna pay too. It's fair, man. Why could you do like that, man? You can't have your full cake. Sarah. Yeah. And I go to the I wanna talk about VJ a little bit, then I'll talk about uh Sky Source. You know what I'm saying? I get that check and I settle in uh, Chateau Cartier. Obviously, I'll stay there for 10 days. I heard Chateau Cartier doesn't have the nicest rooms. That's what the, the guy told me at Whole Foods. I used to work there, Ivan. They don't have the best rooms there. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to stay in Ottawa. I want to stay in Elmer. And uh, Chateau Cartier is the only hotel in Elmer. So I'll just stay there for 10 days. Stay in the rooms there for 10 days, obviously.
Ja. After the 10 days, I, uh, I make, I book my flight to Los Angeles to see VJ, obviously. I fly down there and I see her for the first time after 30 some years. Yeah, peace out. I don't know, I'm 38, 37 when I see VJ for the first time. 37 years old when I see her for the first time. I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen her for almost 40 years. You think I'm going to make deals for my side of the channel? No, man, I'm peace out. There you serve, man. You think for one second I want you to do my that, have me see my wife after that fucked up mess in both our lives and have you do my that, have you make fun of me for both the best guys in the night business out of the you're crazy. No. I'm peacing out, you're not safe, you're left behind, there you serve man. And she's crying and I'm crying a little bit and she gives you like this big tight hug when she sees me. I'm like, this chick's crazy man, relax man. She gives you like a big tight hug when she sees me. And when she cry, I'm guaranteed she will cry honestly. But she knows what I what I did to save her, man. She sees the light now, so she, now when she sleeps, she no longer cries. She, she's crazy, man. Yeah, man. She now sees the light, so the crying stopped, obviously. Crying stopped. And what? And she, uh... You know what I'm saying? And then we leave. We go to the hotel. Like, what hotel suites are there? Yeah, I know a few hotels. We go to the hotel suites and we, I book the hotel. And we stay in the hotel for like two days. And that's the first time I'll go to Egypt for the first time. We have a good time. And she's curious. Ivan, how much money did you make, by the way, off your book? I'm like, I made $9.5 million. You made $9.5 million. I'm like, yeah. I said, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Like, Ivan, we can do, like, I thought I was rich, Ivan. Yeah, how much money do you have in your bank? Oh, yeah. oh, Ivan, I have, like, a million dollars in my bank. You poor compared to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even though VJ is rich, he doesn't always like to be a billionaire. Doesn't burn our life. Yeah. To, to, to. Billionaire life means you can own your own private jets. You can build a $300 million condo. Multi-millionaire life, if you're worth, like, maybe $10 million, you're rich, but you're not living the billionaire life. You can afford your high-end cars, but you can't afford your jets. You can't own a private jet. You can't afford that. You can travel around the world, but you're going to have to fly commercial or charter your private flights if you want. But, yeah, it's not the same thing as being a multi burner where you own your own private jet. Yeah, you just know that you live that kind of life. I keep telling you, it will be more new to me because I don't know what it's like to be rich at all. Whereas VJ lived the rich life. And it's not as brand new to VJ compared to... It's brand new to VJ too, because she doesn't know it's like to be a billionaire. A multi-billionaire, but it's more brand new to me, because I don't know what it's like to have money and be rich. I've been working minimum wage my whole life. Was there. There, I'm a working man, wage my whole life, obviously. That's why what? That's why I'm usually in my life, obviously. I'll tell her about Sky Source. I mean, I want to be movie stars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, Ivan, let's let's start Sky Source. We go to Vancouver, we register for our bank cards, and we make plans for the condo, the jet, the yacht, and we hire George to help us on Sky Source. We take our vacation. 
And uh, now we're ready to, to, to we hired our seven to even all of them, and now we're ready to start the process of a lot of those things we brought to us. So, Sarah. All right, will Vija be excited for Zanus? Yes, she will be excited for Zanus. Because Vija doesn't always like to be a big uh, an A-list movie star. Guys, do you know the way Arwen was? You know the way you know the way Arwen was and uh and uh what's her name? Erwin, the niece of King Theoden and uh and the sister of Amor. Yeah, remember how they that how they act in the movie? Yeah, I think something on that for Lithia of Bell and all that. Look at an amazing movie. That's why Vija be excited, yeah. You're gonna see Vijay with her accent. Yeah, because Vijay will be speaking Old English in Zanus. I won't be speaking the way I speak now. No, I'm gonna be speaking in Old English. Not modern English, no, Old English. Not Old English like, like Beowulf. No, Old English style speech, if you guys see what I mean. You know the way the, the people talking over the rings? Yeah, something like that. So they're gonna be talking like that, sir. That's why you need a dialect coach to train you and all your actors in dialect. I need training because I don't know how to do a good old English style accent. That's why I need I need I need a good dialect coach to train me, obviously. That's why we're gonna have to hire a dialect coach second year to train. Um, third year, though, I'll have the dialect coach train us third year. Third year, once a week we do dialect training for like two hours. And every, okay, guys, every time you go home, practice your, your acting with your dialects, and your, and your dialects, uh, old English style speech. That way you get, that way you get in character. The movie starts to prep, and you, they destroy the role, obviously, so Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. So Zanus, I'll make based off my fast note that I wrote for $1.2 billion. The biggest budget we've ever made in movie history. 7 8 towards the movie, 4 10 towards salaries, and 10 million towards the unheard of behind the scenes documentary. And I'll make a Zanus game, Unreal Engine 5 game, for four sixty million million. And you guys will be playing as me in the game, like actually me in the game. Um, you don't play as VJ. I don't. The woman actors don't play. You don't play as them. They don't fight in the. Uh, in the. Uh. So VJ will be in the game, but she's a CPU character. She, you don't play as her in the game. I have who the, the game guys are gonna tell me. Okay, I have who do you who do you okay? I want you to play as me me. <clears throat> me, Tactius Tactius the first. Oh, the story starts off with him, obviously. Tacitonius. Cassius, Papyri, Job, um, Eli, and Cornelius. You play as those characters. Oh, about Eretat? No, Eretat's a CPU character. You don't you don't play as the wolf characters. They're CPU characters. You play as the uh, as the uh, as those as those characters. So Sarah and Merimus too. You play as Merrimus, the captain of the Arch, and that's it. All the other characters you don't play as. So, Sarah. So, you play as, like, you play as eight characters. You have different stories in the game. Obviously. Yeah. Well, do something similar to Lord of the Rings. Like, even though you have different, diff, diff, different, diff, different, different stories in the game, you can choose who you want to play as. So, in the scene, the battle scene with Tassatolius and Cassius, you can choose to play as Tassatolius or play as Cassius. Or you can do a thing where you, the, the game makes you play as both of them. See what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, you can do something like that. You, you make a, an amazing Unreal Engine 5 game, obviously. I made that game for four sixty million dollars So you get Unreal Engine 5 technology in your game. Rab is like, Unreal Engine 5 for your Zanus game? I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit. Yeah, he's shocked. Man. Do I get a free copy of the game? I want to play this at home. Yeah, I'll give you a free copy of the game, Brad. Because he's he's, he wants to play it at home, obviously. Once he's done, I might even do multiplayer online one on ones and that kind of stuff. You can you can be Tactius versus Papyri. You can be 
Um, you can be Takis vs. Era, that's how you can do that if you want. Online, one-on-one -on -one thing if you want. Interesting problems, you can do that if you want, but we'll see. Yeah. And Peter Jackson will give us my top two candidates for the role, for the job. For the co-executive producer position, director, and co-writer. They have three hats. They're my co-executive producers, my director, and my co-writers for my movie. The question is who's better for the job, Peter or Mel, I don't know. They're both really, really good, since they are. They're both really, really good for the job. They're both really, really good for the job. That's why it's tough, obviously, to choose between Peter and Mel. What's your heart telling you, Ivan? Mel. But the only thing that worries me about Mel is that he does he's not a fantasy guy, man. That's the thing. I think Peter will build a better world than Mel Gibson, but Mel Gibson might make the better movie. Since Aaron. He's gonna have Eric to be a horrific devil, honestly. But Peter will wanna have Eric to have a horrific devil too, most likely. <laughs> no, Ivan, I want him to be a horrific devil, Ivan. Now he yeah, Ivan, I, I yeah. In your book, you make it very clear that Eretat is the Devil Wolf King in the South. Yes, they call him the Devil Wolf King. Yeah. What do they call Eretat? Um, the, 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 the humans call Eretat the Devil Wolf King. The Devil. They call him the Devil, the Devil Wolf King, the Wolf King. The, the King of the Mass Wolves. The King of Barak. They call him those, those by those different titles, obviously. Uh, you're a master, yeah, you're a master. That's why he's a, he's, I don't want him being some Peter the Wolf. He's a devil wolf. In the end of the movie, Takis is in deep agony and stress. And Lithia and all of them are all crying when they see him in the gardens in stress. Why is he in agony? I, I don't want to spoil this over. All I'm going to tell you is that you have Eretat who's a devil himself. That's what I kind of based on what I wrote. And that's why I have to put a billion too. Because if you want to take the horror of Eretat to another level whereby like the wolf feels for you and your actors and they cry... You gotta pour like on her mind towards your visual effects. That way you make Eretan them literal like walking devils and demons. And you tell a powerful story. Everything is in the south is cursed, and Eretan and them are all demons. That's why you gotta you gotta you gotta make sure you pour on her mind towards your visual effects. I don't do it. But Eretan and them are demons. That's why they use the best for the most picture. Imagine you have the city of you have the land of Iraq and all the demonic wolves live there and they're demons three times four times scarier than what you got for the orc, orcs in Lord of the Rings. Remember that scene in Pillars of the Ring when uh, Gandalf was, in, was, on, was on, on top of the tower and it zoomed in it zoomed in to, 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 to down below where the orcs were they were forging weapons you saw Saruman walking out it was pretty creepy. Everyone in theater thought that was scary. Yeah, think of like beings three times scarier than that. They're devils. Yeah, but they're devils. They're devils, yeah. That's why the movie I'm crazy why it was, obviously. Peter, I'll pay him his $85 million contract for the four years of Zanus, for the five years of Zanus, which is a $100 million New Zealand deal. That's why that's good. Peter, you signed a $100 million deal for your base salary. That's good enough. Stop being greedy. You're going to walk away with like 50, I don't know, 8 million in your bank for five years of work. That's a lot of money, Peter. You're just greedy. That's, that's, that's more of money. I have. $58 million in my bank. That's more money for the rings, Ivan. Mean, yeah. Show the 50, 50, $100 million is enough to last you for one, two lifetimes, two, life, two three lifetimes. It's enough money. You're just being greedy here. Yeah, that's a good deal, Ivan. Ivan, what about royalties? Yeah, I'll give you royalties. I'll give you four twenty-five million dollars of the royalties for the box office receipts, and I'll give you nine million dollars of the merch receipts or the profits. So you take ninety million dollars of the merch profits. So the money that means the royalty me and VG collect for the merch, you get your ninety million dollar royalty check once me and VG collect our, our check, obviously. You make more money off the movie or merch. The movie, obviously, because 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 not everyone will buy the merch. Everyone will buy the movie. 
obviously. But not everyone, not everyone will buy the merch. Some people are like, fuck, I don't, I don't need the merch, yeah. Obviously. I would you buy merch? Um, if, if, if I were not God, but I am, don't hate me. I'm saying someone, someone else was God and they what? And the movie was coming out, I'd probably buy the merch. But I probably wouldn't buy everything. I'd probably buy maybe the posters and mugs and that's it. It's nice to have merch, man. To have, to have a merch collection is fucking nice, honestly. But not everyone will buy the merch. Some people won't. Some people can't afford that. So yeah, I, I'm not going to buy the merch. I, I, I don't need the merch, yeah. Obviously. So Peter signed a $600 million deal in Canadian money. Just sign Peter to a six hundred million Canadian deal. That's good enough for him, which is like seven forty five million in New Zealand money. Peter signed about a seven fifty million dollar deal, New Zealand, which is a six hundred Canadian deal. Is that enough for you, Peter? I that's more enough money. He's age. I that's an amazing deal for Peter, man. He doesn't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah, this is more than double what he made for the rings, Ivan. Yeah, his agent's gonna walk away with like f almost fifty million in his bank, his or her bank. And Peter's walking away with like four hundred million plus in his bank, man. I don't know what, what about double that? I'm like Peter, no, I'm not gonna sign you an eight fifty million dollar royalty deal. You're fucking crazy. I what will he push for the most? The the, the the movie box office. He wants a bigger chunk of that. The merch, he doesn't really care much about that, but he, he might want more for the merch too. I what about one fifty million for the merch? I'm like no, Peter. Nine ninety million dollars for the merch is enough. That's 100 plus million in New Zealand money for your merch. That's a good deal. And 425 million is enough, man, Peter. That's what I'm saying. That's like 500 million in royalties for New Zealand money. Four, I don't know, around there, right? Four, it's more than 425, that's all I know, right? Yeah. It's a deal, Ivan. This is more enough money. This is more than money for the Rings, Ivan. You're very generous, Ivan. Thank you. Yeah, I, I even like this is more money than what I made for Lord of the Rings thirty years ago on the Hobbit, Ivan. And if, it was my offer period that contract, he'll be shocked because Hollywood can't afford to pay him this kind of deal. Lord of the Rings, they only paid him ten million dollars for the for the movie. So I'm saying, right? yeah, Peter either made thirty million dollars or ten million for the three movies. It says he made ten million dollars for the three movies. But at, that might mean ten million per movie or ten million for the three. I think Peter made his ten. He had a small budget. My guess is Peter made his ten million for the three movies. But a lot of money. Ten million dollar contract is, is a lot of money. But Peter was not big back then. As a record, Peter would never do a movie for ten million dollars now, because he's too big now. Back then, he he, he wasn't that big as a, a director. Then when he did Lord of the Rings, he became he launched his career and he became big, obviously. I told you, Lord of the Rings is a movie that made Peter wealthy. It made him super rich. Because he made his $10 million for the three movies, and he made like $250 million of the royalties for Lord of the Rings. He struck it rich. He made like $160 million after taxes in his bank. It made him rich and wealthy, obviously. It made him the man he is today. It's going to be weird, because when you watch the documentary of Zanus, and Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings was when Peter, before Peter was was an alias director. He was he was a he wasn't a big director back then. You know what I'm saying? Now he's he's a billionaire and he's doing eyes. He's a big director and he's older now. He has brackets. It's weird. I'm saying yeah. And Mel, I'll pay him his uh, two hundred million dollars of the royalties, thirty five million dollars for the merch, and it's a fifty six million base. So Mel Gibson signed a two ninety million dollar Canadian deal, which is like a two. A 210, 215 American deal. So Mel will walk away with like a hundred, like, I don't know, 107, 108 million in his bank after tax. A lot of money for Mel Gibson, the five years of work. I even what about 300 million dollars in royalties? I'm like, no, Mel. You're not as big as Peter. I'm not going to pay you that. 200 million dollars in royalties is enough. I, that's, that's good enough. I don't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah, it's a good deal for Mel Gibson, obviously. The question is who's better? I don't know. Mel or Peter, I don't know, man. Who are you going to choose? Somebody tells me I might choose Mel, but I might choose Peter. We'll see what happens, obviously. So, Sarah, it's tough. Because they're both really good, man. They're both really, really good, man. Somebody tells me I'm going to I'm gonna root for, for, for Mel. Vijo will root for Mel. George will root for Mel. And the other guys are all going to go for Peter. Uh, unanimous decision. They all choose Peter. Ivan choose Peter, man. 
You're Ivan. What is wrong with you? Peter did Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings was better than Passion Christ. Choose Peter, Ivan. I'm like, okay, fine. I choose Peter in return. <laughs> the good thing with Peter is that his wife, Frank, can help. Can help us write that script. She's, she's talented, all. She wrote, co-wrote the script with Peter. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Peter, I want Zanes to be just as just as well written as Lord of the Rings. Ivan, if you follow your book, you're going to get good dialogue, Ivan. You wrote a masterpiece. Ivan, like, your book has amazing dialogue. Yeah, you're gifted, Ivan. Yeah, I'm gifted. Yeah, yeah. if you write like that, you'll get an amazing movie, Ivan. Trust you, Ivan. I work in the industry for years. I know what I'm doing. This is just as good of a script as Lord of the Rings, Ivan. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, he's all shocked. Yeah. I end up choosing Peter Jackson. Don't hate me, Melton. i and Peter signs that seven forty five million dollar New Zealand deal, which is six hundred million Canadian deal. You sign his wife Fran. His fr his wife Fran want to be involved in the project, obviously. I'm like Peter, you're, if your children want to be in the movie, I can have them be extras if you want. Their children, his children, might want to be in the part of the movie. Yeah, if you want your children and grandkids to be a part of the movie, Peter, they're more than welcome to be a part of the movie. They can they can be they can, they, can, they can be an extra role. Peter, if you want to have a cameo appearance like a different Lord of the Rings and make it interesting, you can do that if you want to. Which I guarantee Peter will do. Now, I mean, yeah, I, I don't mind having a cameo appearance. Yeah, you want to have a cameo for Volume 1, 2, and 3, Peter, like a different Lord of the Rings? You know, yeah, sure, Ivan. Mean, yeah, yeah, and you, you, Peter does a cameo for the movie if you want. So I'm saying, huh? Ivan, you're going to pay for the cameo. No, Peter, I'm not paying for the cameo. I'm already paying you your fucking rich, what? $65 million. Stop being greedy, some Sarah. <laughs> yeah. But Peter Jackson will probably want to have a cow appearance. And his kids can be actors if they want to. If you, you can be actors in the movie if you want. Obviously. And I'll pay them for it. I can pay them like their $180. Or I can give them a speaking role as an extra. They get like their three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 if they want. You can do that for the movie if you want, obviously. So you sign Peter Fran, get a mold of Toro, got a mold of Toro and uh, as assistant director and Barry Osborne, and they're gonna be my assistant producers, and they're they're gonna help me correct the script. Barry Osborne help me correct the script, but the other guys are gonna help me correct the script, like twice a week, and they're gonna help my seventy with the business calls, because they're gonna need help with seventy. That's why you have those guys help them out with, with the business calls, obviously. Peter asked me, Ivan, who's your distributor, by the way? Are, Ivan, are you, uh, how, Ivan, how are you going to distribute your movie? Are you going to release it on like online on your website, like Netflix, or like what are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, partner with a company. Oh, what, what company, Ivan? Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Oh, yeah, I, Amazon's worldwide, Ivan. They're a good company. Is it like Amazon Prime? I like, know, Peter. I'm, 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 I'm 4K Blu-ray. He's like 4K Blu-ray, Ivan. I'm like, yeah. He's like, holy shit. You know what I'm saying? Your company's top notch. For you. Ivan, if you put if, if the world puts money into a theater system at home, they're gonna get a nice experience at home with a 4K Blu-ray effect. Ivan, I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Look at an amazing experience with that technology and the 4K Blu-ray effect. Look at something beautiful for your movie, Ivan. Yeah, he's like, holy shit. Yeah, the theater experience is cooler, but you're looking at a better technology experience for your company, Ivan. Yeah, my company is better than Hollywood. 4K Blu-ray experience, guys. Look at something amazing for my movies. Yeah. How are you return that I am like, no, Peter, I'm not giving you any more money. You're fucking greedy. Yeah, you're greedy, man. 
I want about your merch. Yeah, I'm partnering with Amazon for the merch. You, oh, they're, yeah, so Amazon's creating your merch, Ivan. Yeah, Ivan, yeah, they're a good company, Ivan. Yeah, Amazon's creating my merch. What are you selling, by the way? Yeah, I'm going to sell, um, like, 5L mugs. Like, my little things, yeah, something like that. Um, like, the mugs that are going to, the mugs, the mugs that the actors, the characters drink in the Zanius movie are similar to the, 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 the mugs that the Lord of the Rings actors drink. Tell John Howard all of them, that way they know. I want the mugs to be something like the Lord, the, 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 what, what you got for Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. Ivan, right, are you going to sell uh, t-shirts? Yeah, I'm going to sell t-shirts, sweaters, t-shirts, sweaters, uh, toques, hats. What about pants, Ivan? I don't know. I might not sell pants, but I'll think about it. I might sell maybe pants with it. What about toys? Yeah, I might consider selling toys. Obviously, but toys are expensive. I'm probably going to stick to the t-shirts, hats, and the, the, the posters and mugs and, and joy. That's enough for the merch, obviously. I have, do I get free merch? Yeah, Peter, I'll give you free merch. You get sent free merch to your house, and you get sent a free copy of the movie. You don't, don't make your fucking what? Your crew and actors and directors pay for your movie. You know, it's very unprofessional. You give them a free copy of the movie. Just like the actors in Hollywood get, get, get free access to the premiere for their movie, right? They don't have to pay for that. Don't make uh, Peter and them pay for your fucking movie. That's very unprofessional. You give them a free copy of the 4K Blu-ray box set. And the, uh, and the, uh, merch. All the actors get sent their merch, their sweater, their t-shirts, their, uh, their hats, their six-frame posters. I'm gonna ask Peter and all the actors, which posters do you prefer? The paper ones are frame. I don't want the frame ones. Okay, I'll send you guys the frame ones. And the ones who prefer the paper ones, I'll send you the paper ones. And you get the five L mugs, you get your Joe Pipe, and you get your, uh, your t-shirts and your hats and all stuff. And your sweaters, and you get your 4 copy, and copy. Enjoy the show, yeah, man. I'll be better in Hollywood, yeah. Obviously. So Peter has to help me co-write the script every morning from 9 to 12. Do the concert art to take his notes, help me with the business calls, sign the four groups of crewmen, the first year, weather workshop, mass designers, costume designers, and the extras. We have to sign those crewmen the first year. In the second year, we fly, start flying in the stars. So the script is now written. We do that barbecue party, and now everyone's uh, everyone is selling in after their Christmas break, and then we fly in the stars and we sign all the stars. Shut my camera.